PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder, uh, trauma. Okay, depression. Not to be with depression. Okay, these are all psychological problems that can get very, very, very bad. And we actually encounter a case that they, they try to do suicide. Try to do suicide. So, let's not wait to that point, let's get some help now. Okay? Just want to emphasize that point too, Jose, that about you know, people in nonviolence relationships graduate. You know, there were what did we have? Three cases last semester where they didn't get the help in time. There were three cases of sexual misconduct. Didn't get the help didn't, until it was too late. All three of those individuals have dropped out of AWC. They're they're no longer going to college. In fact, I saw one over the break. She's back working in the fields. That's why she came to college, but because of the fear and everything associated with what happened to her, she's back working the fields instead of re going for her uh, educational goals to better herself. So it happens here. Yeah. And this is just on top of three, those are, those three students actually are the ones that came to us. But again, like Mr. Kerr said, it's, it's I mean, you get help them, but it was, in their mind it was, too, it was too much for them. They ended up dropping out. I'm pretty sure there's more that didn't come forward, but again, especially that suicide. That suicide, it, it, it was pretty bad because uh, she was still underage. That's why it is. They kind of stuck with it because she was still underage. Imagine not even 18 and already trying to take your life because of what's going on with your relationship. That's, that's scary. Okay. Also, there's nothing wrong with you. You feel depressed or suicidal. And yes, you can be so. If other people feel that way, too, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. And don't feel there's something wrong with you. Get help. Yes. And, and it's not help. help. Yeah, and like, like um, I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's all this stuff is normal. Okay? But there's instances where this stuff is just it's too much you can't control. We've all feel depressed before, right? I mean, that, that's, that's normal yeah. part of us stressed out. We've all been stressed out. But there's just sometimes there's there's people that sometimes need more help in dealing with that. And that's what we're here to help you guys out. Okay? Bystander! We're almost done. Bystander, what's a bystander? Someone like standing like a witness. A witness. You've been a witness before? Yeah. Mm. Alright. A witness. Bystanders. We're all bystanders twenty four seven. 24-7, we're all bystanders in your home. When you walk out of class, when you go to the store, we're all bystanders. But, unfortunately, as bystanders, and I'm going to inform myself, sometimes we don't act upon what we see. Oh, it's not my problem. I'm gone. Okay, I'm going to give you a very common one in the store. They see somebody drop their milk or drop their cans, and they go, so I hope or not, Okay, I'm going to give you this scenario. You happen to walk out of class and you see a girl giving up on a guy. Boyfriend, girlfriend scenario, okay? The girl is beating up on the boyfriend. She's just pounding this guy. As a bystander, what will you do? Hey! No, A, like stop. A stop. All right. What else? Hey, there's no right or wrong in this. There's no right or wrong. How about you do that? What will you do? Try to stop her? Talk to one of them? Before, during, or after? Of course, I can't be before, but during or after? Okay. No right or wrong. That's fine. What else? Come on, we're all bystanders. You're scaring me. What will you do, Johnny? Uh, I just want to show her how to laugh about the eyes. She's just coming. Come on, turn out, turn out. Like, it'd be kind of weird, like, trying to pull her off. She's a girl, you know? So it's kind of be like, funny that they're going to pull her off. Okay. Uh, like, if I would let people in your office, like, it just looks weird. All right. Let's start it. 
Of the girl. This guy is just pounding this female. Oh, now I'm seeing a lot of different faces. Now it's changing now. Will you help me move that girl? How so? Yeah. Alright. Will you help? Yeah. How so? Um, I just try to say the, the man that calm down. I have a calm down? Yeah. How about you, Nicole? How is it to be a hostage? It's how I Okay. I don't think you're going to be a bummer. You can call somebody else. I've done that before. Call somebody. Call somebody? Okay. Now, in that scenario, honestly, who would have helped that girl? Now, we're all raising our hands up. So what's different in helping that girl and helping that guy? What's the difference? Yeah, it goes back to perceptions, right? The way you were told, oh. That was a tough. When you're born, I'm gonna go back a little bit. When you're born and you're a male, what do you what do they put on you? What kind of color? Blue. And if it's a girl, what color do they put on it? Pink. So you know how perceptions are built from when you're a baby. Okay. Now with TV, it's usually the male, um, you know, suffering the domestic violence. Yes. But does that happen to the males? Yes. But again, it goes back to perceptions. All right, so as bystanders in those two scenarios, let's come up with five ways how we're going to help. Five ways how we can help. It doesn't matter, male or female. Five ways we can help. Call someone. You got my number. Call Jose. Jose is, is just going down. I'll go talk to him. All right, call someone. Now, if you're going to call someone, if you don't want to call at that moment, that's fine. If you want to call when you need a car, do it. Just call someone. Afterwards, if it happens, if your your conscience is all mess, you know, messing with you, and you want to call three hours later, that's fine. Call three hours later. All right. So, what's another way you can help? Call nine one one. Yes. Nine one one. Big one. There's a lot of uh, emergency boxes on campus. All of you guys see them. They're all over. If you press that button, it automatically sends a signal they know where you're at. Okay? So that's just the I'm going to put the emergency box in. How about if you're in your home and you witness the neighbors going something down, what will you do? Besides calling 911. 
hard. Interfere? Somebody mentioned something about the other. Who said scream at it? You said possible, right? Okay. Go for help. Because if you scream, what happens if you scream? I got your attention, right? Yeah. yeah. So if you see somebody fighting and you scream, hey, do you speak and you know, not look and make it sound different? At least you got your attention. Okay? And you scream. What else? What else can you do? Step in and maybe calm the situation down. Calm the situation down. By stepping in and maybe separating them up. I'm going to put a big star in that second there. Do you like a mediator? Mediator? Yeah. After. After the incident happens, yes, you can be a mediator. Yeah. If you're telling I'm dirty, you're probably going to get a hit too. <laughs> but afterwards, you can be a mediator. Stepping in. Okay? I'm not going to tell you, don't step in. But it's not something I want to do. Alright? Because what happens if you step in, if they're going at it, let's say you step in and you pull the roll apart, right? And you rip off her shirt. Now what? Now you can get charged with sexual misconduct. And then if you step in here and then the guy starts pounding on you, now whose problem is it? Now it becomes your problem. Right? And now he can charge you with battery too. Instigating the fight. You can step in physically. Okay, now are there some instances that you have to step in? Yes. You gotta assess the situation. Alright, assess the situation. Alright, stepping in. How much of this good story? Because it happened at Yuma High. Okay? You know that saying, once a criminal, you always a criminal? <laughs> I'm not a criminal. Right? <laughs> but, my brother, okay, he's 20, 22 years old now. When he was 17, so I want to back that. He's a black belt in kickboxing. Uh, he has all his martial arts training. He knows how to handle all his weapons. And he's been a black belt since age 13. So he, he, he knows how to beat up people good. Okay? So when he was 17, during lunch, his friend happens to be a girl. Okay, his best friend. Okay, best friend. She starts arguing with her boyfriend. Doing nuts. My brother steps in to back up her friend's friend, and that guy screams at him. So my brother swings back. He hits his nose with one point. So now there's a mess going on doing nuts. Okay? Now the bystanders and anybody there, they call this self defense because the guy swung first. That actually did happen. The guy did swing first. Police report self defense. But they go down to Juvie, the guy finds out he's a black belt martial arts training. Now he gets a lawyer, touches my brother, and now I want to touch him as an adult or some legal weapon. This is true. Yeah. Yeah. All because yeah. you're starting off the call now, you do what it was right at the moment, and he did, yeah. Okay? But it backfired on because he got there in physics. Okay? Six months later, we're at a football game, Clinton's walking down the street. It's 4th Street. Clinton's walking down 4th Street. Same guy with the same girl. Holding hands. But you know what? When you're in high school, you can see a lot of people that say. No? So I was not like that's not. I was like, yeah, it wasn't cool. Okay, but again, call someone. All right, if you see her, let us know. Let me know. Okay, I'm not going to go in there and beat up on the girl, beat up on the guy. No. But I can get them up to help us stuff. All right, please let us know. If stuff is going on in your relationship, you get mom, dad, anybody, who are you going to call? Was that right? On campus. Now, another good thing is stuff happens.